Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and this is something new. This is a week in review and some commentary from me about some of the comments that you've left and so on and so forth. And this is the first one. I'm not going to post a category on 3D Game Man about this yet, but uh, if they are popular, I will do that. So let's see how they go. And by the way, you, obviously, the fans will make this popular. So it's completely up to you. So let's see how this goes. First of all, I would like to address some of the comments that have been posted mainly on YouTube because apparently that's the Wild West and you can say whatever the hell you want to over there. So um, let me just reply to some of those comments. Uh, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. The, the, the negative comments seem to get more play than, you know, that's always the way it is, though. Get more play than the good ones, but mostly good ones, of course. Great comments, great and all the... Uh, thanks for answering the question that I posted and, uh, you know, great, great video and blah, blah, blah. But... Uh, you know, with God, I've been doing this since 2001, so <laughs> I'm pretty used to people slandering and blah, 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 for whatever reason. But uh, i just tell you this, for anyone out there that is uh, thinking about unsubscribing from this channel, that's completely up to yourself if you want to unsubscribe, of course. But there's no need to post that I'm pissed off because you're doing so many videos that I'm going to unsubscribe. That is what? Childish, first of all, and more than likely, you are a child. I've unsubscribed from other channels, but I don't get all angry and post, I'm unsubscribing from this channel because you're doing my nah. Yeah. Yep. Something wrong with a few people out there, but I guess you're welcome to it. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's continue on. We're here into more positive uh, territory. Go through, first of all, the Q&A videos that I did over the week and uh, by the way I'm thinking about doing a lot more Q&A videos one thing about uh, tech questions is it's just a never-ending thing you do one and then you've got another question someone else is asking another question about that particular video that you did that's related to that so and it's good I mean everyone you know I think a lot of people um, like uh, to, get to, to, to get their tech questions answered and other people as well probably wondering the same thing and you know they're getting their questions uh, answered. And all I'm trying to do, and all, all I've ever tried to do, ever since I started doing video reviews in 2001, is to uh, educate and uh, to help people, basically. So that's that's all I am trying to do. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to demean anybody. I'm trying to help people. That's that's always been my you know primary goal. Anyway, now let's get into this. Uh, are, my, are my texts private? You know what? And by the way, when I when I do these uh, videos and summaries, I'm going to just keep it really quick because there's going to be a lot of them. I think about doing three to four Q and A videos a day, and possibly a poll video every day or every other day. So there's going to be a lot I'm going to have to cover here uh, in the in the week review this particular video. So you know, bear with me here. I'm not going to be answering these uh, like very detailed. Go to the video themselves if you want to get more detail on this particular answer. I'm going to be flying through these really quickly. So are my texts private? Yes and no. You know what? You shouldn't be typing uh, anything uh, uh, on your phone or anywhere else, for that matter, on the internet that you wouldn't say to a person to their face. Hey, <laughs> a lot of people on YouTube are going, oh my God, I'm, oh my God, I'm trouble now. But you shouldn't. That's just it. That if you do that, you're safe. Hey, it doesn't matter if your texts are private or not. But no, usually your texts are private and they're covered, um, you know, by... Uh, your country's laws, whatever, you, you know, but then again, you know, what country do you live in? And, you know, you never know in that respect. So, they, they, yes, yes and no. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. How often and what to use for backup? Well, you should back up at least once a week. And um, you should be, you can use an external drive, a thumb drive. You can use cloud services if you want to to back up your data. Um, and uh, I use a program called Rapid Backup. Now, a, a person, I know I mentioned that before, but... Rapid Backup, you do a search onto it, it's a free program, and um, I have the link to it actually in the uh, Q&A video 148, so you can go, um, and if, by the way, if you want to get the Q&A videos, no problem, you can do a search up here on the site if you want to, or on YouTube, but there's also categories here at the top of the screen, uh, Q&A videos and poll videos, so you can go in there if you want more information on that, but Rapid Backup is free, what I do is I back up from one drive to another drive, that's it, I'm done. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. All, all the files that are changed are updated, are copied over. It's just brilliant. It's, it's so simple, this the little piece of software that's free. 
And, you know, it's it's great. There's no fooling around with it. Boom, it's done. Anyway, next one. Ask, uh, ask me a question. Where do you ask me a question directly? If you want to ask me a question directly, you can send it to techquestions at 3dgameman.com. That's it. Or you can leave a question in the forum if you want to. You can also leave questions on YouTube, but I don't get to those a lot. I don't read a lot of stuff on YouTube because, you know what? A lot of it, not a lot of it. I'm sorry. I know that all of you on YouTube are not like this, but some out there... It's just stupid, like off-topic crap stuff that, and that's one of the that's one of the reasons, unfortunately, that I don't read on YouTube because it just is just retarded. Anyway, ah, uh, hey, go on here. Uh, what is DLC? DLC is downloadable content. It's like expansion slots. It's like a ch 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 ching ch 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 ching ching money making thing that publishers do to make more money. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep, that's what it is, but uh, some people go for it. I do not. I hardly ever download any downloadable content. Any, you know, it used to be like years ago, I don't know what they would call that. They would call it what? Mods, uh, expansion packs, that kind of stuff. But now it's downloadable content because, and, and you know, you buy a game for 60 bucks and you spend another, what, 10, 15 bucks per, for the downloadable content. You know what? And publishers and developers clue in for Christ's sakes. And you know what? What you should be doing is you should be actually making and producing a game that add, you know has some really good content in it, and then pour all your efforts into the next game and the next game instead of having all this bull 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 uh, content in between the games. I I can't I don't I don't have time to play hardly any games anymore anyway. But when I do, I want to play a good game and I want it to last twenty plus hours. Oh, yeah. What are you, Rodney? Are you insane, man? A game that would last like 20 to 30 hours? Oh, you're crazy. Yep, times are changing. Let's push the games out. Half of them don't work anymore, and it takes five hours to play, but they're 60 bucks. Aha! The people will come in droves. Anyway. Here we have the next one. Uh, Asus. Uh, uh, sorry. HD... 7770 is a tongue twister. The direct uh, CU versus the reference video card. Well, I went through I went through this video. Uh, this is video, by the way, 486. And um, you know what? The only difference here, for the most part, is the clock speeds. So don't beat yourself up. A lot of reference video cards, if you can get them and you can overclock them anyway. Uh, you know, you're going to get differences in the cooler, the configuration on the back, like the display port and, you know, um, uh, VGA, DVI, that kind of stuff, um, connections. And the core speed and the clock speed. And that's it. And you're paying extra money for that kind of stuff. And that's fine. Hey, no problem with it. That's that's good. That's good. If you want to pay some extra bucks, that's fine. You can get, you know, um, a souped up kind of version of the reference video card that's okay but for the most part that applies to almost every single video card uh, here we here we have another one the video card question the uh, nvidia gtx 650 ti versus the 660 video card the ti 650 uh, wouldn't get it i'd get the 660 much much faster video card overall so that's 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 the, that's that question <laughs> Going to the next one. Well, advice on starting a website or blog. Uh, unless it is going to be a very hot topic, I would almost recommend not doing it unless you have another job on the side. Because if you plan on making money, a lot of money from it, unless you have a lot of money to pour into it and it's some kind of a brilliant product based upon that, then yes, it might somehow catch fire and go from there. But um, you know, it's in most cases, if you're starting something um, on the budget, it's on the cheap, it's it's not going to catch on that quickly. It will take time. Uh, most businesses take time anyway. So you have to gauge yourself and uh, figure it out, uh, you know, uh, if, give yourself a time limit. If it doesn't work out after a few months, a few years, give it up and go on to something else. You got to know when to throw in the towel, so to speak. Uh, headphone burning. Is there such a thing as breaking in your headphones well some people say there is some people will say there is not a lot of the high quality headphones uh, uh, you know a lot of audiophiles will tell you that yes indeed there is um, a lot um, to that and after a few hours a few weeks of burn-in there is quite a difference and as a matter of fact some of these high-end uh, headphones actually come with um, music and uh, to break in that particular headphone so yes and no I guess some people uh, 
notice a difference and some others don't and a lot of people have, are deaf when it comes you know almost they let's put it this way you know let's just say your your mom uh, you know doesn't see any difference between uh, really a clock radio and a 4000 dollar audio system and that's true it's just like how we perceive sound it's it's strange from person to person okay next video here is the um, the video download browser plugin now I use and it's probably uh, right here at the top of the screen this is Download Helper. It's Video Download Helper. I've been using this for years. It's a plugin actually for Firefox. That's what I use. And uh, the next question is uh, Facebook most recent news posts. Well, I can't really go through this here per se, but it's a hidden drop down. Uh, so if you go into the news, I don't know if I can go into my, my Facebook here. Let's go into the, um, the news feed the news feed here and you can go sort by and then you can go most recent so that answers that question again so let's go back here to this one that's it and before it was easy in their old format that they had it was very easy to do that but well you know, it's easy now again uh, let's go on here we're going to uh, NVIDIA GTX 650 Ti boost versus the 660 video card now, if you remember, I just did the 650 Ti, not the Ti Boost, but the Ti Boost is is really good. Um, there's three, Nvidia did three different uh, versions of the 650, six, playing up 650, 650 Ti, and the 650 Ti Boost. There's also a 650 Ti Boost Supercharge, which is a little, you know, the clock and the cores is a bit better on it. But if if you're choosing between the 650 Ti Boost or the 660 video card, um, the 660 is still faster. But if you're on a budget, go with the 650 Ti. Pretty close on specs and pretty darn close on performance. So you can't go wrong with either of these. And this this next question is the um, uh, this is the GTX 680 versus the GTX Titan. Now the Titan is an animal. That thing is so so. Um, it has so much memory, and the specs are very, very impressive on it. Um, so, you know, if you have the money, go for the Titan. Otherwise, go for the 680. Performance-wise, it's going to give you, you know, a nice bit of performance uh, over the 680, the Titan. But still, for double the cost, I don't know. You can get like a couple of 680s, right? Um, above the Titan, and that's not in all benchmarks, but uh, is the 690. So if you want to go higher than the Titan, and some people disagree with me on that, but you know it's it's it, it, let's put it this way: the 690 and the the Titan, pretty darn close. Now this question here is about monitors, uh, HDMI or DVI monitor, and um, somebody actually posted the question: Why didn't you mention uh, DisplayPort in the title here? I guess. And the person didn't ask me that. They asked me HDMI or DVI. So that's why it's not in the title. But I did mention it in the uh, video review about DisplayPort. If you're getting, uh, if you're using your computer system for mainly movies, then um, uh, the HDMI connection is great because it will carry audio and video. So that's cool. But um, you know what? Uh, if it's a gaming uh, gaming rig and you want to go higher than 1080p, then go with DVI, DVI or DisplayPort. And Another comment that was left about um, about my video that I did on this was, you know, it's like I'm I'm saying that 1080p is is somehow low resolution. Well, yes, it is when you can, can you know you can compare it to other high high um, res monitors. It certainly is. And uh, remember that um, very soon you'll see 4K monitors coming out. So that will make 1080p look like um, well crap. Last video here is wait for uh, Haswell or go with the Ivory Bridge. Well, <laughs> that's anyone's guess, really. It's kind of like uh, the specs are not all out there on the Haswell. Um, and I, th I think, you, you know, if, if you're building a new computer system this year, you can't go wrong with building an Ivory Bridge based, based off the Intel Ivory Bridge. But, you know, if you want to wait, wait. Remembering, of course, that if you go for the newest, the latest and greatest, you're going to pay money for it. And, you know, maybe... The Ivory Bridge, well, you know, it will. it will drop a little bit in price as well. And I don't, I don't know if I'm that impressed with what kind of CPU gains you're going to get, overclocking and tweaking you're going to get from Haswell. I, I, I don't know. It's like, honest to God, the, the PC um, CPU mar um, market is, it's like it's, it's dying. And of course, everything is going mobility. These combined chips now, um, you know, it's like. 
because I mean the PC is is essentially you've got a number of pieces in it, right? You've got the memory and, and blah blah blah. You've got uh, you know, but where where it's headed is like everything is on one chip. So you you know you don't have your dedicated CPU anymore along with your video cards. It's, it's like you know it's going you're going and you're moving and migrating from a, the PC, you know, big gorilla into a, a tiny more compact tablet version of that that's where it's that's where it's headed so i don't know if it's going to be the demise of what you would call the um you know the intel cpu and uh i don't know if uh some people say it is and i i, I kind of agree that um i think it's 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 it, it, it will i don't know where it's headed to be honest the consumer pc market but it certainly seems to me that it's, it's just going down the toilet but uh, we will we will see go over over the next few years what will happen there now anyway Let's go on to the the poll videos, and let me just see here what was the um, going back to uh, April second here. So I did a couple of these last week. I'll go back to this one actually. Um, the Battlefield Four preview. What do you think of it? <laughs> well, from my expression here, I don't think a lot of it, but the game itself certainly looks good to me. It's just that a lot of people are really peeled with EA, right? I mean, and they don't want to buy anything anymore from them. And it's like the same rehash stuff over and over again. It's true. I mean, I agree with you on that. It's definitely, it's definitely, and after a while, like, it's just boring. And it's not, you know, even though it's new content per se, it's like, it's, it's kind of like it's just recycled. And, you know, I don't know. But it, the game itself, to me, looks like it's pretty polished and looks like it's, it's, it's quite good. So, what's next here? We have, uh, I'm going to go back to this one, but um, I won't. Yes, I will. <laughs> ah, no, I won't. I just kind of did that with the downloadable content. Oh, actually, I kind of messed up here. I went down too far, but... Let's, okay, so let's let's start off from this one. Let's go back up to this one. Do you like downloadable content? I already met, I answered that. I personally do not. Um... What generation of video cards do you have currently now? I have a 7,000 uh, video card from AM, uh, AMD, or I was going to say ATI. But <laughs> for me, I don't know. I've always really liked uh, ATI, AMD products. And one of the main reasons is because I've always been into movies and audio and that kind of stuff. And I've always found that they've worked a little bit better um, for that type of thing and also gaming is fantastic of course with uh, with AMD and they've gotten better over the years with the drivers and so on and so forth but uh, but that's that's could be just my preference uh, anyway so let's go to downloadable content uh, oh I'm gone I'm going backwards I'm getting confused here <laughs> oh my gosh it's like what can you blame me it's like Saturday night here I'm doing this video I want to move along get to tie this up and and do something like watch a movie or something. Anyway, uh, do you pre-order games? I personally do not. I just uh, sometimes there's incentives for pre you know pre-ordering games like you get a limited edition or you get something else with it. Uh, but most times you get very little for what you pay for it. I normally wait for uh, games to go on special anyway. I just kind of can't justify paying sixty bucks for a game, and don't—I mean, don't get me started on that. I know publishers put a hell of a lot of time and money into games, but I don't know. It's just sixty bucks for me seems like seems like a boatload of money, especially the games that are being released these days. I mean, they—you know—the graphics are fine and all this kind of stuff, but it's the same rehash a lot, a lot of it. Not all, not all games are like that, but it's the same rehash, and it's like you know, you only play it for five or ten hours and you're finished. I know you can do multiplayer, but I don't have time for that. I'm not really that interested in it with you when you're paying playing with a few friends yes it, it is very interesting that type of thing but for the most part at least for me uh, no i don't i don't i don't pre-order games last one here is do you sell your computer gear i do i think it's the I, I think it's it'll make everyone happy yourself and the person who's buying gear from you as long as your gear of course is relatively new a lot of people do this especially if you're upgrading every single generation you gotta kind of be able to fund or be able to somehow justify um buying you know the new hardware because you know while you probably won't get you might get 30 percent to 40 percent back on used stuff that's really really used um you still get some money back right and it's not thrown in in, in the landfill so so there you have it anyway i hope you enjoyed this weekend review if it becomes popular remember you make it popular uh, i will be doing more of these 
uh, videos and let's, let's just see uh, how it goes. Anyway, uh, good weekend everybody. Take care.